Okay, so we're outside here with the Jarus 800 tracked placing machine by Imer. We're going to review all the movement functions, the boom functions. It's under gasoline power now. It's a beautiful day here in South Lake, Texas. And we're ready to go. So before you make any boom functions, you got to make sure the machine is stabilized. For that, you just hold down that lever. Covered that before, the stabilization lever there. And you hold it down until the boom, I mean, until the stabilizers are in a complete down position and the machine has auto stabilized. that with the sun you wanted to say okay that the machine's been stabilized before you unfold the boom yeah. now the first movement that you always have to do on the garris to get it up out of the cradle is the third third from the right so you press that up so we've moved the toggle switch on the far right into the green territory which then activates the controls for the boom once it's out of the cradle, you can do any movement that you like. And just going from left to right. So we need to clear that cradle that you see in front of the turret. Then we can basically move it any way we want. You can make more than one movement at a time. You can actually make two movements plus a turret. So a total of three movements. So just for example here, I'm going to do the first two over here on the left and turn at the same time. Wow, well, that's impressive. So for speed and everything, you can move it, move three things at once. Let's see. Or add on an additional movement halfway through. You have to have the the boom has to be centered to bring down into the cradle. If you just hold the turret and everything's retracted, it'll actually stop in the middle. So it'll self-center with that with the turret control button. Mm -hmm. It will self-center. Which one's the turret control button? This again? one. Okay. And then actually, if you see up in that corner, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, the see sun, it. Yeah. But you have a centered um, symbol. So this, the, the control panel there, the little LED shows it's centered, but if you hold that button, it'll self-center to come down into the cradle. But let me ask a question. Can it be moved now without... If it's up in that position, can you go ahead and move it? So, again, it's the controller. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but on yep. the boom there, you have three dots. And what you want to do is right now you see all those dots are clear. They're they're empty. So what you want to do is position the boom so all those dots are filled. So the boom's going up right now. Yes. Is that what you wanted it to Absolutely. do? Absolutely. Let's, let's move over this way. Can you come over this way, Xavier?
Okay, so you're moving that boom up automatically or by hand? I'm moving it by hand. So okay. Sure. So does it have to be in a certain position before you can go ahead and lift the outriggers and move it forward or backwards? It does. So right now, you notice I only have one of the dots filled. I'm not sure if you can see that or not on the screen. Okay, well, we but got it. If I want to raise the outriggers right now, it won't let me. Okay, so in this position, you cannot raise the outriggers. Okay. Yes. So when it's L shaped, you can move it. What about A shaped? No, this is this is the only shape. This so is the only shape you can move it in. Now, what if it has concrete in that inside that pipe? That's that's still okay. That's okay. Only obviously not flowing through it. But, but the weight of just concrete in it to it move it. Absolutely fine. So right now, if you see, all of those three dots are filled up which means we're okay, we're good to raise the outriggers and we can move it now. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And if you take a look at the outriggers, you'll see that they raise very slowly. 